I got cut off by my alarm. Rude, rude. I was telling you guys, I was giving you tips. All right, so it's my birthday and excuse also my other brace. I know I'm brace, brace, brace. But anyway, I'm giving you a tip of the day and you're gonna thank me. You have to put uh, a, a variety of coffees. And it's my birthday, so I'm going with the top quality, not the cheap shit. So I put three turquoise scoops of um, six, six Avenue Bistro Dark Roast Bold and Roasty. I love that one. And then, because that's like the that's the most expensive one, so I put the most of that one. Three scoops of that with uh, one scoop of Night Owl, which is apropos for my situation. So uh, then I put that in there. And here's my tip. I know it sounds insane insane but you put a little salt in the on top of the fil uh, coffee filter because salty sweet are complimentary you know if you have a high blood pressure i'm not a doctor i don't know go ask your doctor but uh if it's not a lot of salt it's like a little salt google it the googles will back me up on this so you got that in there this is my italian coffee maker called k-mix DeLonghi, and I'm not giving a product placement because they don't make them no more. They were made in Italy, not China, not anywhere else, not Taiwan, not Thailand, not anywhere, not Mexico, not Canada. They're made, they weren't made in Sweden. They were made in the motherland, in Italy, and they stopped making them. They have bright colors. Why are all coffee makers so dull? They're so dull. They're so boring. They're like brown, gray, Stainless steel, because everybody wants everything stainless steel. You can't have a bright color to save your life. So anyway, so it's so beautiful, and I would never... They sell them online for like 600 bucks sometimes on Ebay's, and I was like, should I part with it? I considered it, and J Johnny Rigatoni said, that's the only coffee maker out of your 8,000 previous coffee makers that you like and you've had for three years and counting now. You make the best coffee. All right. And I did break the, the carafe a fourth time. I couldn't find the replacement. I was using one that was too big and I was shoving it in there, jamming it in there. Was, I was starting to scratch the beautiful chrome. So then I finally was cleaning my closet last week and I found the replacement. So, and this is a fourth replacement, but I don't think they make them any. I don't even think they make the replacements. Hold on. Wait, wait. I'm going off camera. I know that's unprofessional. You need, I need this. Here's another tip by Dorney. You gotta put the towel to catch the drips. Now this coffee maker is turquoise. Ah, oh, I went a little over. Don't don't worry. I'm afraid of electrocution, but I don't I don't think I will get electrocuted. I leave. I don't even care if there's water in there because someone's gonna get soaked into the beans. Dry it and look look at this tip. Look at this tip. This is a well. Oh, hold on. Wait. A little bit left. Look at this tip, uh, the mug of the day. I'm gonna start, engage, I'm gonna have engagement ring of the day. It's close to my birthday, so I have the best one. The best, the absolute best. Cushion cut, look at the sparkles, like rainbows. Rainbows are pouring out of it. Yeah, that's real moistenite. That's not, that's not like the fake stuff. So then uh, I'm gonna have a mug of the day. I promised Johnny Rigatoni I would cut down my mugs, my mug addiction, cause we don't use the dishwasher, we hand wash old school and our dishwasher, stainless steel top of the line, came with a house. And I was like, that's a waste of space. You gotta wash your dishes by hand. Why would you? Uh, it, it's taking up so much cabinet uh, space. So I said, what are we gonna do? Wait, hold on. Let me get the coffee started. It's like my brain's not gonna work. This has little holes in the top and you put it on there and it warms your mug as it brews. Push a button, one button operation that's what i like the most i don't want all this timers and i'll set it to go off at 5 a.m and it'll be ready no that's you can hear it you hear that beautiful sound beautiful sound is um there's my birthday coffee being brewed and i hope my alarm doesn't go off because it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna cut us off again and i haven't even showed you my bonbonier situation. Oh, I haven't updated you. Update, this is big news. You can go on bonbonier site and custom order. Click in, 
Do you want amaretto um, frosting? Do you want raspberry buttercream? Like the, like, the, like the favorite. Although there's no rosettes on this and I do feel che cheated by them. I have a little bit of ven vendetta against them. And I, I'm, I'm hesitating to put a hex on their house, right? I'm not gonna do it yet, but, cause I'm giving them a chance. And to rethink, I talked about it when I was there with the girls in the shop, but I know they're just young girls. And I said, listen, I'm not, I'm not trying to hurt you. I don't want you, I know it's, it's just young girls working for the summer, but could you please tell the owner, I've been buying this cake. My friends have been buying this cake. If they don't know what to get me, they just go to Bonbonier and they buy a raspberry cake with rosettes, the frosting this thick, and um, a sparkle frosting, sparkle, edible sparkle glitter. And here, so look how small this cake is comparatively for like $24, insane. I mean, and it went up, it was like 16, 18, 19, then it went to 21, then it just skyrocketed to 23.75. It keeps inching up in a pandemic when we have less money for frosting than ever. So just imagine if there was um, like an extra two inch frosting of rosettes all over this. Like Johnny Rigatoni looked at this and he's like, that cake is so tiny. Like to me, that's almost personal size, like just for me. Uh, although I shared it with Mary Catherine, she, she bought it for me. It was her present. We, she went there, she said, pick any cake you want in the whole place. And I went there and I saw with great, great disappointment. Oh, and by the way, that frosting ain't buttercream. That's not buttercream at all. That is disgusting. I spit it out. And Mary Catherine was like, please, what's wrong with you? Your table manners. And also she was so mad that I didn't eat the, I didn't eat the ganache. So I gave her my ganache because she loves extra ganache. And I eat the cake. Okay, when you order it, when you order it special, you can get any filling you want, any cake on a drop down menu push a uh, finish and then order and then you put in the time you want to pick up your cake or you can have ubers deliver your cake i had a cake delivered with an ubers a few months ago in the lockdown i had a uh, a checker cake a black and white checker cake which i, I also is a second favorite because it's got black white um it's got black white harmony in cake it's got black white harmony in frosting and i'm all about the harmony right i'm all about the harmony with everyone so that cake is representational of the love, and love is love, all right? The coffee is close to done, and I need my big spoon. Wait, hold on. Wait, I can't find it. Oh, oh, it's in the, it's in the dish drain. I need my big spoon. I'm gonna finish this with a big spoon. And um, also keep in mind that uh, Mary Catherine has a store in Montclair called like uh, it's called like Siciliano Girl or something. She got this olive oil that has a uh, hand painted. The woman paints these by hand. Look, each one's different. She said she sat there for like three hours trying to decide which one to get because she's like me. She can't decide. But anyway, I'm going in for it and I'll have my coffee by myself. So here I go. <sighs> Leave the ganache. I'll save it for Mary Kay. I'll give her a big, I'll get it. I'll put it in a container. Not a Tupperware, it's a glass because I'm afraid of Tupperware now. I'm very frightened of Tupperware. And I'm gonna end this video with the birthday breakfast frosting bonanza. Mmm, that's it. That frosting, that 